Okay, welcome back to Cooking for Men. Uh, what we're making today is we are going to make uh, Bob's meatloaf. And uh, we've got uh, two pounds of ground beef, half a yellow medium onion diced, quarter cup barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce of your choice. I use just a Kraft uh, original barbecue sauce. Two eggs, two medium eggs, 28 to 30 Ritz crackers, and uh, we get these small rolls here like this, what we get from the store. So 20 to 30 Ritz crackers. So we got some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, this, uh, this is called Italian seasoning. All right, so, uh, okay. That's our ingredients. Um, we'll put it all together and tell you what we're doing as we do it, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here's the mix. So this, we got two pounds of hamburger. Okay, start with that. Now, this is our onion, which was the uh, half of a yellow medium diced onion. That's gonna go in there. Okay, we need two eggs. Oops, there you go, there's one. Got two eggs. Oh, we got a right here. Okay, remember those Ritz crackers? So, Julie took and crushed those all up for us. All right. Now you can you can adjust this just as you know if you want to. This is not all written in stone. This is just my recipe I I use. Okay. Uh, here's the trick for me: this is barbecue sauce. A lot of people like to use ketchup. I hate ketchup. It doesn't belong on the planet. But anywho, quarter cup of this. And you can take your beer and put a little of that in there like that. And, all right, we'll get that out, there we go. There you go, there you go. All right, now, garlic powder, a couple shakes. One, two, three, four, there you go. Pepper, a few shakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, eh, about like that, okay. Salt, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, there you go. And we've got the Italian dressing. We're gonna just a couple, couple shakes of that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Mama likes it. There you go. All right. There you go. That's it. It's all in, right? We're all in. Once you're all in, you're all in, baby. Get some. Get some. All right. So we're gonna mix this up really good. We're going to form it in our pan, and then uh, we're gonna add some carrots and potatoes to the outside of the pan and cook those in with it. We're not going to show you how to cut potatoes and carrots on video, though. That'd be just crazy. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Mix it all in. Make sure your onions are, are diced and not chopped. If you chop your onions and put it in here, the onion falls out and you got a big old gap and the whole meatloaf falls apart. Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. There you go. All right. Okay, so now we're going to pack that into a ball. Pack that sucker into a ball. This is your football. Pack that sucker. Okay, if you leave a lot of air gaps in here, it falls apart while it's cooking. You can't do that. You gotta pack it hard. Hard, baby. There you go. Patch your meat just like that. Oh, don't even start that. Don't get me started on packing your meat. Oh, baby, there you go, look at there. All right, that's our meatloaf. You don't need to add ketchup to this or nothing. The Ritz are going to hold it together, and that Ritz is kind of a sweet cracker, and that sweet cracker goes good with that uh, barbecue sauce. There you go. There's your egg. A little on the bottom. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, look at that. All right. We'll leave that there for now. Okay. We're going to bake that at 350 degrees for one hour. All right. After the hour, if you want to add cheese to the top of it and brown it up or put some ketchup on <coughs> some ketchup on there, I don't know why the hell you would, but you can do that then if you want to. Bake the ketchup into it if you want to. I don't know why you would. That's it. And uh, we'll come back and we'll show you what pulls up out of the oven. There you go. Uh, we got our meatloaf. And uh, Julie took us some potatoes, put some potatoes and carrots around there. Uh, looks really good. Very yummy. You're going to love this recipe. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.